So I do want to talk about this interesting rumor that the Sacramento Kings, the Thunder, and the Pelicans are now expected to show interest in center. Jared Allen from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, there's been vibes around the Cleveland Cavaliers organization the last few days that Jared Allen and Darius Garland may be finding potential new homes. Assuming what happens with Donovan Mitchell, yes, the superstar guard, if they decide to keep him long term, that could make Garland and Jared Allen expendable. So I would love this move. I would welcome this move. Uh, Jared Allen is getting $20 million annually. Um, he is a double-double machine. Uh, not only do you get acquire him, you have a second guy who can get average double-double other than Demonis Sabonis. And his double-double production is really good, guys. For $20 million a season, he's basically 16 He's coming off a career year where he averaged 16 points, 12 rebounds, and he's just entering his prime. He's 26 years old. He fits the core's timeline of Fox and Sabonis. Um, I don't think it will cost Keegan Murray to get Jared Allen because if you're giving up Keegan Murray, that doesn't make sense. But, but there's a good chance where it could cost the 13th overall pick in this year's NBA draft. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, realistically speaking, asking yourself, ask yourself, guys, will the Kings can find a Jared Allen type of player in the NBA draft at pick 13? Um, probably not. Probably not. And I think that assuming that some of the picks that are rumored to be around when the Kings do take, uh, when the Kings are on the clock at 13, I honestly think that, uh, Jared Allen would be a lot better than what you're going to find in this year's NBA draft. Um, bearing somebody falls to the Kings at 13 that was projected to be in a top 10. Then I could see that player being possibly better and obviously younger. But make no mistake about it, Jared Allen just turned 26 years old. He's still freaking young. Um, knowing that he was in the 2017 NBA draft class alongside with De'Aaron Fox. Um, Fit-wise, I think he's a very good fit. I know you guys might have questions about the fit with Demonis Sabonis and Keegan Murray in the front line. I actually think it could work out. Um, you know, defensively, uh, it, there will be some mismatches because if you just say you play him alongside Demonis Sabonis, um, but what this guy does defensively on a defensive end, um, it's elite. He can provide the weak side defense and give the Kings an anchor in the middle that they haven't had in a long time defensively. Um, and he can block shots. He can rebound the ball really well. Um, he's very mobile. You know, even if you switch him on the pick and roll, he's very mobile. He can move his feet. I love the mobility there as well. And it's just hard for me to believe that the Cavaliers will be willing to part ways with them. But cap space wise, they'll have some decisions to make, you know, looming Donovan Mitchell you know, if he commits long term or if he doesn't commit long term, uh, what is the court's future? You know, the Cleveland Cavaliers got eliminated by the Boston Celtics this past week in the playoffs. And they're, they've been in the rumor mill the last few days a lot uh, with their core players in particular. And Jerry Allen and Darius Garland being one of them. But uh, Jerry Allen being one of them, should I say. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I'm... Obviously, giving up a couple of draft picks and the thirteenth pick for Jared Allen because I feel like he's very he's worth it, and you got him on a contract, a friendly contract. But let's face it, I mean, I think he can provide a lot that the Kings need defensively on the defensive side of the basketball. And uh, Demontis Sabonis moving him back to the four, which he played in Indiana. Uh, I think if anything, Demonis Sabonis will just have to take more jump shots to spread the floor. And I think Sabonis is very capable of taking more jump shots. Um, I'm not saying that should result in taking more threes, but Demonis Sabonis is very capable of taking more threes as well, guys. So in terms of fit-wise, I wouldn't worry. It makes the Kings a lot better in the paint. And Jarrett Allen has a good offensive game. He's got a good feel for the game, guys. He averaged 16 points a game this season. So if anything, this is a win-win. I would definitely entertain the thought of picking up and acquiring Jerry Allen uh, for this year's draft pick and um, a few future draft picks. Uh, you know, a, future, a few future second rounders I can I would throw in there for Jerry Allen because I feel like he fits the timeline of the core's players. 
um, you wouldn't have to give up Keegan Murray to get him. And I feel like uh, he, he the timeline, it's just a timeline, the natural fit I see with him and the rest of the core players on the Kings roster. And imagine Sabonis and Fox throwing up lobs to Jared Allen on the in transition on the fast break. Um, yeah, I'm very intrigued by this uh, potential pickup. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Jared Allen, if the Kings should be interested in pursuing um, for him. That's going to do it for you for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Have yourself a great rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next video.